reader blog here in San Francisco at TCT 2019 for ACC.org. Uh, on my left is Spencer King, an old friend uh, who is a colleague at Emory with me. And it is the end of day one at TCT, and we have two trials to talk about that we think are probably the most important for you folks out there. The first being the Twilight trial. So, uh, so I get it right, I'm gonna cheat here, Spencer. Twilight is Ticagrelor with aspirin or Ticagrelor alone after three months. So patients who have a PCI at high risk for bleeding end up getting Ticagrelor and aspirin for three months and then they're randomized to continuing Ticagrelor alone or continuing Ticagrelor and aspirin. So Spencer, there's the trial. Tell me what the outcome is and then we'll talk about how important this may or may not be. Yeah, so importantly, we should understand that they both get three months of the same thing. Correct. So this is a trial starting at three months. Do you keep, uh, keep the aspirin going or do you stop it? And uh, when they stopped it, interestingly, there was no difference in the ischemic events, but there was less bleeding. Yeah, you know, this is no surprise. As we see this time and time and time again. Aspirin, turns out, makes people bleed, doesn't it? Well, particularly these people who are at some risk for yeah. bleeding to yeah. start with. So this is a selected group of people, you know, old people like yeah. us. And <laughs> but, Don't go there. But, but uh, yeah, so we should be uh, aware of who the patients were in the trial and, and then uh, realize that uh, stopping the aspirin seems to be perfectly fine and maybe uh, uh, safer, a lot yeah. safer. Yeah. Well, it certainly is. You know, bleeding, the other side of bleeding is that bleeding isn't good for you down the road. And we've learned that from a number of other trials, that if you bleed, regardless of how big or how much or not so much, it has bad outcomes. Uh, I, I love aspirin for my uh, headache and some other things, but in this area, it may, it may be taking a bit of a hit. Okay, so Ticagrelor alone after three months, but for the first three months, Ticagrelor and aspirin is still the right way to go. Well, that's and what was studied, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So that is the twilight trial. So let me go to a much more complicated trial, and this is Augustus. Augustus is basically the question of what do you do uh, in a patient who has atrial fibrillation and then needs a PCI. This has been haunting us for, what, 10 years now probably. People have tried to figure this one out. And Augustus, I think, has moved us forward to try and understand what these patients really should or should not have. So let me tell you what Augustus is because this is a tricky trial. So essentially, all patients who had a PCI or needed a PCI uh, got a, a P2Y12 inhibitor, and all of them got then a Pixaban plus aspirin or a Pixaban plus placebo. That was two groups. And then they had warfarin and aspirin or warfarin and placebo. So four groups of patients. One with a Pixaban and aspirin, one with a Pixaban and placebo, one with warfarin and aspirin, one with warfarin and placebo. Their endpoints were bleeding, death and hospitalization, and then death and ischemic events also sort of rolled into this. And this is a complicated trial because of the four by four analysis and so forth. What are the endpoints here, Spencer? Yeah, the, the, these, these kind of trials are hard to, uh, to grasp initially, but once you cut to the chase, you say, well, which one of these approaches is better. We, we already know that in atrial fibrillation uh, that uh, warfarin, you know, probably is uh, going away and that the newer agents, uh, yeah. the, the uh, 10A inhibitors are really taking over. And so certainly warfarin and aspirin together is not a good combination. Well, that's right. And so uh, here, this trial ends up saying that uh, even though this is uh, uh, difficult to decide, all these people are increased risk of bleeding. Anybody on anticoagulants increased risk of bleeding. The best group though, the best result here was if you got to take uh, uh, an anticoagulant, the uh, Pixaban was the best and doing that with uh, without uh, aspirin, only with the P2Y12 was the best. So uh, it looks like we're moving again <laughs> to beat up on aspirin, a yeah. bit away from aspirin in these two situations. One, the high risk PCI patient and the atrial fib patient that requires anticoagulation. I think the short version of this trial is if you have a patient that uh, has a PCI and they're in AF, a Pixaban and a P2Y12 and that's it. It seems to be right now. That's where we are and uh, this, is a, this is an important trial. Yeah. So there you go. We've got two trials here, both of which I think have 
significant clinical import for those people who uh, need to have some kind of an intervention uh, and patients, particularly in AF. So uh, listen carefully to what we just said because I think it will change the way we think about these folks. Thanks so much, Spencer. Thanks, Peter.